This is a video review for the baby womb world baby cam or nanny cam. I'll give you a little bit of a um, review first of some of the technical uh, issues with it. Uh, it has a Wi-Fi antenna on it. Uh, once I was able to get it connected to our Wi-Fi, it was pretty uh, reliable. I think I've only had one or two hiccups with it, but nothing too major. Uh, has speaker here, a microphone hole here, speaker on the other side, uh, cameras right here. It also has some uh, red lights in it for night vision. This has a servo in it, so it can turn 355 degrees or something around. This tilts up pretty high as well. Uh, in the back here is a LAN network connection if you wanted to plug that into your network uh, with a hard line. And then there's the power adapter over here that it comes with. It's a couple little knockout ports right here. You can see one of them right there. Uh, probably for an upgraded version uh, of the same camera. Uh, you'll notice that I have some painter's tape here. We put this painter's tape here, you can kind of see a blue light right here, uh, to cover it up uh, so it's not bothering our little one while she's trying to sleep. Um, my wife also took this pink pair of pants to cover it up as well because, as you can see, I probably have three, four, five layers of tape on it and it still shines through it. Uh, like I mentioned, it comes with a power cable. Uh, as you can see, that's about as high as you're going to get up off the floor. Um, so I'm guessing this is about a five foot cable or so. Uh, it did come with a wall mount. Um, we haven't mounted it yet because we're still trying to figure out if we like that position. Personally, I'd like to mount it higher on the wall so I can get a steeper angle into the crib, which is behind me, uh, just to get a better view of what's going on in the crib and also better coverage of the room uh, with less movement of the camera. I'm going to turn the lights off now and show you the iPhone app that helps control uh, this camera which is a really nice feature. So as you can see as I turn the lights down you can see that blue light shining out from around the tape. So we'll go to the app. As you can see we just have the one camera here and it holds a still of the last couple frames or frame that it uh, has you can see me there when I was using this before as you can see it can see me now and uh, the one thing that I had there we go I have to remember to full screen it so I can get it on here like this so I'm going to turn the lights all the way down now so you get a real vision of how this works. So you can see now that I'm connected, that blue light flashes on and off. And I've tried to figure out if that's my voice that's causing it to do that or if that's just the connection in general. Um, I have this iPod right next to underneath mine for doing video and you can kind of hear my voice coming through on it. Uh, that is the microphone on the camera picking it up. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. So this is what my little one sees at night when we turn the camera on. As you can see, it's kind of bothersome to have that light blinking. The steady red night vision lights, don't. I'm not really concerned with that much. So here's a shot of the video. I'll try to do this one-handed. If I want to see more up top, I just drag down to see the picture up top. And there you can see me now looking at you. I can also pan. So you drag like you're looking at a picture. 
So I want to see more of this side of the room, I just keep dragging. If I want to see more of this side of the room, and this is kind of hard, um, holding it in both hands and getting it to be responsive. But I want to go down. I'm going to turn around here so you can get a shot of my crib. So this is kind of the angle we get of our crib. And as you can see, the box is there kind of getting in the way a little bit, so I need to reposition the camera more to the edge. So it gives us a decent view, probably about two-thirds of the bed we can see when she's standing up crying and that kind of stuff. Uh, in any event, I give this camera probably a four. I mean, it functions the way I would like uh, most of the issue that I have with it really is possibly a longer power cord and also not having that blinking light or at least having the ability to um, disable it and turn it off. So like I said, I'll give this a 4 out of 5. I did receive this camera for free or a discounted price in exchange for my honest, unbiased opinion. As you can tell, I'm not giving it a 5 just because I got it on those terms. I am being honest, and this is my own opinion of this product. I hope it helps.